Once again, we're in Las Vegas driving an autonomous vehicle. Well, not exactly driving, but this time we'll be in the Hyundai Autonomous Ionic Vehicle. But unlike other autonomous systems, Hyundai hopes to have a self-driving car on the road that average people can afford. It hopes to accomplish this by having a smaller computational footprint inside the car. In other words, you won't need a supercomputer to drive your car for you. Now, even though Hyundai wants to lower that sort of computational footprint, it still needs sensors in order to well, read everything. Now we have cameras up here that read traffic lights, pedestrians, the road, just other cars. And then down here in the front of the vehicle, we have the radar, which is hidden behind the logo, and LiDAR, there's three LiDAR sensors. There's one right here in the front, and then two on either side, right there. Now we're riding in the Ionic, the autonomous prototype. Um, it's, it's like driving with the most cautious friend you know. Maybe your grandmother, maybe your friend who is afraid of speed. But it feels safe. Uh, we've been driving in autonomous mode for a while. Um, I haven't felt like the car is going to jump out in front of any, everyone. Um, and it's doing all this with less computational power than what a lot of automakers are talking about using. Now it's doing this because instead of grabbing that one LiDAR that's on top of the car that spins around and does a 360 view and just pummels the computer with information, they're using three LiDARs in the front of the vehicle. Now this all adds up to what Hyundai hopes is an autonomous vehicle that's a bit less expensive than a lot of the luxury brands you're seeing out there. Now, of course, the automaker, along with every other automaker out there, expects that the technology will be ready before regulators are. So, the tech will be there, we just have to wait for the government to catch up. <laughs>